難しい質問、ワールドキング漢字のスーパーフュージョンチャレンジ、誰が勝つ YouTube! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your soon to be fusion champ and feel the power! So, joining us now on the Super Fusion Challenge, he's no stranger to the challenge at all. He won the last round he was in, and fighting for the title this time, we have Mr. 500,000 subs, so close to that freezer power level, Geekdom 101! Let me tell you something, Dimsy. What's gonna happen is this, all right? You've been shining that championship for two years now, and you're lucky that Kanji took a break. If Kanji hadn't taken a break, it would already be mine. <laughs> so I want you to take that title. I want you to shine it up real nice for me because you're going to hand it over to me. And when you do hand it over to me, I want to know. I want to know from you. I want to look you right in the face, and I'm going to say, Do you want to live forever? What makes a special fusion challenge? How about adding one of the biggest assets to the Dragon Ball community? Ken Zyro joins us for the Super Fusion Challenge today, and what an honor it is. How is everyone doing today? And we are doing a fusion challenge today. Just a word of warning before we start, I'm going to suck at this. <laughs> so, joining us this time on the very special Super Fusion Challenge is one of, if not the biggest, Dragon Ball YouTuber, covering the games and the news and, of course, the memes. It's Rhyme Style. How's it going, Dino? How you doing, man? Thank you for having me. This is going to be a lot of fun. Well, it's going to be fun, but it's going to be intense. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm ready. Before introducing my next guest on this commemorative Dragon Ball Super special, let me just mention that without this particular individual, watching Dragon Ball Super before it had been officially picked up by any legitimate streaming service would have been virtually impossible to understand. This man has really been an integral part of the Dragon Ball community with so many years of knowledge under his belt. So without further ado, Herms, Todd Blankenship. Welcome to this Dragon Ball Super Fusion Challenge. How's it going, man? Hello. <laughs> so, are you ready for this challenge, bro? I guess as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> it's Laughing Stock Media Mike. How's it going, man? Hey, guys. It's Mike here from Laughing Stock Media and Cinema. How's it going? Just to be sure, just to be sure, we've got Mike on the call. It's not going to be a surprise, Harold, because like two people <laughs> doing this might be cheating. <laughs> I mean, Harold has those brain gains going on, so he totally get all of them right. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the brain is a muscle. <laughs> Now, the rules have changed slightly from before.、Uh, from special orders from Zeno, the Super Fusion Challenge is now an elimination match. <laughs> so, whereas before you'd have been guessing for points, now we're guessing to stay alive. So, I like to play dangerously. <laughs> so, we've got a, so, you've got a number of lives, which is going to represent like, the amount of members of a team that you'd have in this tournament. 10 lives, 10 guesses. Do you think that's going to be enough? Hey, I'm good to go.、That's、so let's、man. get this show on the road. Hello, Dimsy. How are you doing? Long time no speak. I'm fine, man. How are you? <laughs> what, what accent is that? That is a shitty Scottish accent. It sounded、gold. Welsh. It sounded like Fireman Sam had moved to Glasgow or something. Right, guys. Well, If you haven't remembered, Dimsy is our current Fusion Challenge champion. I can show you the universe. <laughs> I can show you the world. Title is on the line. Did you know that? Live on the Super Fusion Challenge. So, guys, this time we've got Broku72 joining us, or Broku72. Is there a way you prefer that to be pronounced?、Uh, Broku72. So, the, <laughs> the 72nd. Broku. That's, you know, the ultimate number. But the best one. <laughs> the best one. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that time limit. Don't worry too much about the time limit. The time limit's kind of just there for. Well, realistically, the only person who's actually had the time limit so far has been Dimsy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. He's the champion. He should. All right. To、so、be the man, you gotta beat the man. <laughs>、so、hit me. I'm ready right now. Go. Just before we get this started, have you got anything you want to say to any of the other people competing? I just don't want to be Universe 9. <laughs> <laughs> Round one, here we go. Oh,、uh, Jacko and Zeno.、Uh, one is correct.、So、okay, down, hold on. Down, down one life. Down, down one life. <laughs> I'm already l i k e t h a t was such confidence, too. <laughs> Who is that? Assuming that I make it through this round, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Hulk Hogan? Wait, no, never mind. Yeah, I'm definitely、right. <laughs> not going to say that. <laughs> right, round one, let's go. I think I'm going to go with 
Zeno the Omni King. <laughs> Number two, Jocko the Galactic Patrolman. <laughs> That's the same thing that Dino guessed, but it's, uh, uh, it's incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Well, obviously one of them is Zeno because yeah. that's the other the Zeno clothing. Oh, okay. I'm going to guess it's Zeno and the little purple guy from the Pride Troopers, Zo Zoe Ray. Oh! Oh, fair play, dude. Fair play. Okay. Uh, wait, I got it right? You got it right, man. Yeah. It, it looks like freaking Stewie Griffin broke the <laughs> I, I thought that as I drew it. Oh, oh, uh, Rebrianne. Nope. This one. This no? one. No. No. This one's smaller. This one's smaller. It's Who's he's small. Got a similar kind of shape going on to Zeno. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Zeno. This is a tough one. Ah. Okay, hold on. All right. That is obviously Zeno. Okay. That pattern is obviously from the Pride Troopers. Okay. He was eliminated by one of the Kalo the Khalifas. <laughs> one of the Kalo Khalifas. Plural. Can the guy fly? Can the guy fly? I'm not giving hints. Is it is it Zeno and Zoe? Are you it's recording this in a bathroom? You sound. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it Zoe? Yeah. Yes, it is. You got them both right. So on to the next one. You have got ten oh. lives remaining. Hey, hey, hey. So uh, this is a fusion of Zeno Summer and, yeah. and 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 and. And that guy from Universe 11, his name is uh, Zo Zoire. Zoire right? Fantastic. Well done, man. First one straight away in the bag. You got that immediately. Well done, man. <laughs> and just to clarify, all of the characters that are used in this so far are simply from Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> so no one, no one from One Piece. Nobody from One Piece. <laughs> all right. So I guess this is the Omni King plus, is it Zoe Ray? That's correct. Straight off the bat, man. So 10 lives remaining. On to number two. I don't know his name. If you can articulate the one that you mean, like I can give you the point for it. Because again, come on. There's been like 80 characters introduced in the Tournament of Power. So. Zeno? Zoe Ray? Or... Yes. Yes, it is. Well done. <laughs> yes. I might have to pass. I, I don't know if I can guess this. Is that what you want to do? Do you want to surrender a life and move on to the next one? I don't think I'll get it either way, so I'm going to do, I'm going to have to go for that. Fair enough. Okay, so it was Zoire, the member of the Pride Troopers, you know, the little one with the wings. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was around for such a short period of time, it's yeah. hard for me to remember. <laughs> I, I will do that. I will do that because I cannot tell who the other one is to okay. save my life. <laughs> it was Zoire, the pride trooper, the one with the wings that flies around. Oh, yeah. I would have I never guessed that one. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. That was a bit of a tough one to get you started yep. and just get it warmed up. Here comes the next one. Here we go. Number two. Okay. Do you know what? Very much similar to my ex girlfriend. <laughs> 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 but uh body's obviously Botamo, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say it is um Botamo and Kale. Botamo and Kale. I can tell you that Botamo is correct, but Kale isn't. So I'm gonna have to take away one of the lives there, so do you wanna guess again? <laughs> Number two Okay. Oh man, okay, this is a little tougher. Okay, obviously Botamo is one. Um, <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Uh, see, well, this is not even fair because it's Botamo, but he just looks thinner. All right, so. Oh wait, 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 wait! I noticed that he's wearing the uh, the God Destruction ring on his ear, but I can't. I'm trying to pinpoint which God, bro. He could be any of the gods. Dude, that's not fair. <laughs> right. So I'll give you a hint. The pose he's standing in belongs to the God of Destruction. I know. Oh my God, what kind of monstrosity is this? <laughs> Did you just what hit kind... it? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's actually really bad. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> Your laptop sounds like it's about to die. <laughs> okay, okay. Stop it, Dimsy! Stop hitting me! It's Botamo, but it's someone else who has a earring or sighting, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out which universe, which has... Can I have a hint of which universe? Universe, no. You can, I'll, I'll help you. Look at the accessories, look at the pose, and look at the face. And look at the amount of weight lost. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that gives no help at all. Is that fat skinny boo? No, it's not. It is, it's fat skinny boo. It's not fat skinny boo, don't gamble that, please. It's fat skinny boo and uh, <laughs> Batamo. It's, it's not fat skinny boo. It is Batamo, but it's not fat skinny boo. Yeah, but look at the weight loss. <laughs> Quick, please. Zeno is getting impatient. He's going to start erasing people. Oh, I'm so Okay, you know what? I want to do one last one. I think it's going to be from the ears as well. Hit. Hit? Hit. Hit? <laughs> Hit doesn't have any ears to have earrings in. Here we go. Oh, okay. So one of them <laughs> for me is definitely going to be Botamo. Now the other fighter, he looks so similar to Botamo. So who could blend really <laughs> well with Botamo? I don't think Botamo has those bracelets. You know, looking at his face, definitely. That definitely has a familiar face. It's almost perhaps feline in nature. <laughs> so for me, Botamo and Champa. That's right, that's right. Awesome. No lives lost. No lives lost on that round. Oof, man. <laughs> uh okay. Easy Botamo and yeah. Champa. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. <laughs> that was, <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. I know man, like you know when I was drawing it, I was like, have I made this too easy? Oh, that's that one muscular dude. <laughs> Tomo? Uh, I don't know. I'll take a loss on that one. I can't even explain it very well. Well, <laughs> fair enough. I can tell you that the character is Batamo and Shampa. <laughs> I can see that now. Yeah, I know, dude. Trust me. Like, so many people got stumped with this one. So, Botamo and is it Opni? Well, it is Botamo, but I'm afraid it's not Opni, no. Hmm. So uh, you can either use another guest to uh, to have another go, or you can surrender a life is and it, move on. Was it just uh, Shampa? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Batamo and Shampa. There we go. So with nine lives remaining, on to number three. I'm not entirely sure why Opni is my go-to <laughs> character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only gonna, only yeah. one of them particularly stands in that way. I'm going to guess Champa. You are right. It's oh, Champa and Batamo. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one, dude. You, I'm already sweating right now. You're not losing two lives on this, please. Uh, I, I, no, I'm, he's going to erase Mansion. <laughs> mansion just got erased because of you. Who's Manchin? Manchin. Who else? Do you remember the, the previous fused guy? He's been sat up in the bleachers watching and he just got a raise. All the previous fusions, because they're stuck together, because, you know, in my horrible laboratory, that's what happens. They don't do the dance. They just splice them together. They're all sat up in the bleachers watching. All these people you've guessed. All these people that gave you your world championship. Sorry, and Manchin just got a raise because of you. But yes, you can surrender a life. <laughs> So, wait, it was Botamo and who? Who? It was Shampa. I really, I, I can see the air thing and Kale wears airing. Uh, who <laughs> is that? This is so difficult. So, uh, 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 is, is, is that the guy um, who uh, Gohan fought? Uh, is that Rubalt and Botamo? I'm afraid it isn't, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna move then. I'm gonna I, move then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna tell you, man. You're probably gonna kick yourself when I tell you this, but it's it's Potamo and Shampa. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. I see it now. I see it now. I see that face. I tell oh. you, man. It's one of these things. This competition. Like you find the answer out, and you're like, oh man. <laughs> so here we go with number three. So here comes number three. The pride trooper, who's like with the. uh it's difficult the TN? To... Is that the guess you want to go with? I'll go with that. It is casserole. It isn't Ten Shin Han. <laughs> and so you're down, to, you're down to eight lives. And do you want to give it another go or do you want to move on to the next one? Yeah, I, can't, I, can't, I can't think of who else it would be. No problem. All right, then. Well, I can tell you that it was casserole and it was... Uh, oh man, I'm gonna do so damn bad on this. 
Okay, I'm just thinking, who is that green man? Who can that? Well, you know, what? I can't seem to. There's a big oh, clue man. on it. <laughs> there, there is a big clue, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to figure out. Um, so it's from the Turtle Hermit. Scoo. Well done. At least you pieced that together. <laughs> I think it's Catherine. And um, Tao Pai Pai. That's bullshit. Of course, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> That outfit he's wearing looks like something Ten Shin Han would wear, but Ten Shin Han was not, did not wear that in this tournament. Um, also, there's a certain thing on there that should uh, help you guide your decision. Which well, sounds it obvious, but <laughs> now wait a minute. These are it's not stupid. <laughs> Hold on, these are not just Tournament of Power people. This is no, uh... they're not just Tournament of Power people. It's all of Super. Because I'm thinking, like, okay, is that Yamcha? Like, because I, I he's got the the kanji there. I'm wondering if that kanji, which is your name, I'm wondering <laughs> if that if that has anything to do with who he is. Like, that's that's what I'm. It does. So I haven't added anything to the fusions, and none of them wear. If you get what I mean. Urine, right? Yeah, I don't think that's her though. Uh, shit, dude, I'm I'm literally like. Remember, I'm you literally... can you can surrender a life if you don't want to guess to move on to the next one, and I will tell you who it was. I don't want to surrender a life yet because I'm telling you, I'm sorry. I've got like. I know that you'd be kicking yourself right now, man, if you could see how much this was causing you. No, dude, I'm. I'm oh, how much more time do I have? You got plenty of time. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with casserole and tension, Han. <laughs> I'm gonna say it is uh it's gonna say Kasiral and um, good Krillin. You Krillin would be correct. Kassirol. Yes, it's Krillin and Casserol. Well done, man. You wouldn't believe how many people have been stuck on the Krillin part of that fusion as well. <laughs> I was like, did Roshi wear that? Because I can re read that symbol on his chest. So <laughs> of I was course, like, yeah. Roshi wear that? <laughs> yeah. But no, I remember Krillin wearing that once. So yeah. Yeah, the Battle of God's Ark. <laughs> and here yeah. we go with number four. All right, I, th I, I think it's Ten Shin Han and Catherine. Casserole is right, Ten Shin Han is wrong. You are no, down that to can't, seven that can't, lives. No, 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 it can't be wrong. You are down to seven lives. No, 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 that can't be wrong, that can't be wrong. Seven lives remain. Uh, Defi Casserole and... Tao? Oh, no. Casserole and... Oh my god, I'm at the forfeit that one. I can't, I can't do... <laughs> it was Who was it? was it? Oh, okay, okay, it's got that it. Oh, yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Oh, my it's, gosh. Uh, I, oh, it's, man, it's one of these. I've had to try and spice it up because people were saying it was too easy before. So, uh, casserole and Krillin. Wow, okay, yes. <laughs> man, you're wasting no time on these. You're just storming <laughs> this. It, like, everybody's at least struggled on one of those first three. <laughs> This one had okay. a lack of shading on. I didn't spend much time on it. <laughs> well, I can definitely tell that one of the fusion materials is Casserole. I That's believe right. I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Who I was very disappointed with how he went out in the tournament because <laughs> they made him seem like... Yeah, he was such a tactical genius. And he had that cool bar scene that reminded me of Street Fighter where he was talking to... Um, to Topo, you know, in Universe 11. So <laughs> yeah. I was looking forward to that. But... For his other fusion material, that looks a lot like Krillin's gi that he wore at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super, and I believe in the Battle of Gods movie. So I'm going to go with Krillin. Castor well done. <laughs> well Us. done. Nice one. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. You're one of the only people who's got that. Oh, wow. Yeah, awesome. it, because I... it wasn't his main attire. A lot of people have just cast that aside. <laughs> When has Ten Shin on ever had the Turtle Hermit? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. Um, Tien wears that style, man. Yeah, but it isn't him, so let it go. Because if you don't, then the time is going to run out for you, and Zeno's going to erase you anyway. You really wouldn't oh, want to lose oh, your title oh, oh, and oh, get erased. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Krillin, right? Yes, finally. Yeah, cause... On to the next one with seven lives remaining. Do -do 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 -do. <sighs> oh, mate. Oh, mate. This isn't fair. That's just Jiren. <laughs> it's Jiren dressed down for the day. How many guesses do I have left? Uh, you have eight. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so you've okay. got as, as many correct guesses as you like, <laughs> but okay. eight incorrect guesses left. That's true. Part one for me would be Jiren. <laughs> 
<laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> he looks a lot like a gray alien who has been said to probe <laughs> many people in the southern United States. So I am going to go with Jiren. <laughs> I've seen um, him on many wanted posters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. His other fusion material, though. <sighs> He does kind of have that cross, like, folded arms posture, but this guy seems leaner than Jiren. Yeah. So, now, those pants. Who wears brown? Who wears pants like that in Dragon Ball? And who wears the arm? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm shocked I didn't get this. So I'm going to go with possibly the most OP fusion on the list so far, and that would be Jiren and Tagama. <laughs> well... Is it Tagama or is it Captain Ginyu? <laughs> that is true. That is true. Because yeah. <laughs> Tagama had such a badass arc and then Ginyu was like, Psh, I'm nostalgia and he ripped it all away from him. So. Okay. Swept the rug from underneath his feet. Okay. Because it has to be a super character, right? Yes, it has to be from Super, but can be from any arc of Super. All right. I mean, obviously one half of it is Chiren. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's so Jiren and, and Tagoma? Yes. <laughs> well, definitely Jiren. And... As a hint. Vegeta. No. <laughs> oh! oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. It, it It is somebody from the second arc of Super. Second arc of Super. Which Striking was... resemblance to Jiren, mind you. Oh, hit. No, that's the third arc! <laughs> oh, wait, second... Oh, no, it's the freeze arc. Freeze arc, okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 Tagoma. Tagoma. Yeah, there we go. There oh, we that, go. That's actually a hell of a fusion right there. Oh, my gosh. I know, especially the power. Yeah, I Imagine see the pants the, now. I see the pants. The pants and the... It's the, uh, the, the wrist bracelets as well. Is it Tagoma and Jiren? That's correct. Straight in there. That's the quickest anybody's guessed that. <laughs> you know, most people have looked at it. I think they've just kind of forgot that Tagoma even existed. Oh boy, this is going to be difficult. So, what was that guy's name? The guy, can you switch the body with? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's him and Jiren, but uh, what was his name? Um... Uh, you are on the right lines, I can tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it has to be one of those guys. I, I think it is uh, one of the freezers. Uh, okay, so um, there were two guys in yep. Resurrection Alpha Arc, uh, Freezer's underling. One was the guy who changed body with Ginyu, and then there was another one who was red-skinned. Yeah. I, I don't remember his name. I think it's him, but I don't remember his name. Ah, oh, I, t boy. I tell you what, do you do you pick that character then that Ginyu switch bodies with? Okay, I picked that one, but I don't remember his name. And okay. Jiren. I, I will accept that because there's, there's going to be a couple of people in the tournament where they didn't actually know some of the characters' names. But you are talking about the right character, so you do know who it is. It is Tagoma and Jiren. All oh, right, Tag Tagoma. <laughs> That's his name. Yeah. <laughs> Did I lose? Am I out already? No, you're not out. You've got nine lives left. This one, okay, this, this is... one's a bit trickier. Okay, obviously one's Jiren. The other one, it could be, it could be Tagoma. Like, I have to think about mm -hmm. it for a minute, but maybe not. Um, what, what was the name of that big bull guy that they fought? Oh, God. Was it Sh Shishami? Sh Sh right? So, unless you're, you're, you, you drew him to remove his armor. Well, <laughs> well, that could be the case with uh, no matter how many of the ones you've just mentioned. Because <laughs> here's the thing. It looks like that Super Boo's body because he's got the little, like, wrist things. But he wasn't you know Super. About? No, but he, well, he was. Oh, do you mean a Fat Skinny Boo? <laughs> fat Skinny Boo, yeah. I have to think because this is this is tricky, but I'm going to go ahead and go for a guess. I'm going to go ahead and say that it is Tagoma and Jiren. I'll tell you why. He's got the same armbands and the same color pants that Tagoma wears. That's the <laughs> only thing I, I can base it on. And with that basing, you would be correct. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Removing the armor was tricky. Yeah, well, I knew that if I left it on, you'd know. <laughs> so That's here we go true. with number five. No, because this is Jiren from the next episode, right? No. Well, I mean, yes, Jiren is there, but... Oh, uh, mate, um, this is... Wait, we should use people from, from the Tournament of Power only, man. Yeah, but I haven't done that, so let's not waste time thinking about it, and let's just answer it. <laughs> He's already been fused. I can't take him apart now. I told you, the way that I, I fuse them is I splice them together. That's why they don't have the Gogeta get-up or the Gotenks get-up. Jiren? 
and Shizami. No, but you are in the right ballpark. So you got six Jiren. six lives remain. Jiren and Tagumo. Yes, there we go. Man. <laughs> and you side one of the ones. How is that not Shizami, man? Because he's grey like Tagoma, mm. and he's wearing Tagoma's tight fitting pants. Now this one okay. would have been harder if it wasn't for you doing your tournament of power elimination chart. <laughs> All right. So obviously first Cauliflower because there are two earrings on her, but I don't think those are Potara earrings. I'm gonna have to say Cauliflower and those. But that hairstyle is really confusing. <laughs> I don't know if that hairstyle belongs to Cauliflower or the other character because. If it belongs to the other character, it looks more similar to uh, Kakunsa. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go with Cauliflower and Kakunsa. Well, Cauliflower is correct, but Kakunsa is not correct, unfortunately. So... Yeah, how, how many lives do I have left? So I'm after, after that one, you've still got six lives left. You're down to uh, seven lives oh. at the moment. Is it... Khalifla. <laughs> and oh, I think it's that girl from Universe 9. Can't think of the name. So I'll take the L. I can't I can't even explain to the character, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's all right. So Khalifla's correct. And okay. uh, the other character she was fused with was now this, Supreme... this, oh, well, 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 this one's well, 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 pretty one. pretty out there. Because I'm not sure how many people will know the name of the person she's fused with. And you said this is all from Super, right? All from Super, but sadly okay. that in that includes the 80 characters from the tournament of Pearl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, well, I know one of them is definitely Khalifla. That's right, yeah. Uh, and I know, you know, I'm going to have to pass because I, I think I know who the girl is, but I don't know her name. Yeah. Who we, who we Most of those names? characters, I don't know their names. Like the, the, all the fodder characters that were kicked out in the beginning. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me actually try to guess. Is won't, it? I won't deduct a point because I think this one will be a bit. T uh, this one's going to be tough for everybody because I don't recall them even saying her name. Put, put, really, if it wasn't for Ken Zyro, I wouldn't even know <laughs> myself. So now this one, this one could be tricky. Mm. This one's been tough so far. Okay. Well, mm. we're all fighting for elimination. Zeno is very hard on me for this, so to speak. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, <laughs> hope, hopefully, you don't you don't piss him off too much because we don't want him to erase our universe and five other ones. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna make it so it fits into number thirteen that way. <laughs> I know, but... right? <laughs> Let's see. Well, seven and eleven so... already makes twenty. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I think hmm. those earrings are particularly interesting that I'm looking at right now because. They look more like actual diamonds or something mm -hmm. than fusion earrings. Now, are in this in this challenge, are you able to I mean you make the rules obviously in Zeta, I'm sure, but are you <laughs> able to fuse an already fused character with another character? The answer to that question is no. There are only two characters in each fusion. Hmm. I haven't been that mean. If I was to do, like, you know, a fused character in something else, I could understand the question. I'm not going to do that because that would be too mean. Okay. Shot in the dark. But uh, I'm going to give this guess to Khalifla mm -hmm. and the member of the Pride Troopers who can make the sphere, like, portal and stuff like that. <laughs> the Susan Sorm ripoff. <laughs> Well done. Yeah, her name is Kakot. Wow. Well done. Uh, and again, I do not remember if her name was actually mentioned. What the hell is this? Mm. Oh, man. I'm... Okay. Obviously, one is uh, Khalifla. That's the obvious one. I, I like how one is always obvious. <laughs> yeah, one right? is always obvious. The other one's less so. <laughs> the other one. Who has hair like that? It looks familiar, dude. Um, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I, oh, no, I don't. Okay. I'm going to go for a wild guess here. Okay. I'm going to say it's it's Khalifla, and that fusion is Kokot, or whatever her name is. Oh! The, the, oh, my God. Dude, yes, that is, that is correct. 
Dude, you're blowing my mind with some of this stuff. Like, literally, like, I gave you no hint at all during that. I can't believe you got that one, dude. Okay, so, Khalifa and... I can't... I'm trying to remember what her actual name is. Coquette or something? Oh my the God. female pride trooper? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Okay, th okay, Danny originally said to me we should get you involved in this, and I thought... I thought, yeah, sure. I mean, that sounds interesting. I didn't expect you to be storming it as much as you are, man. <laughs> oh, well. well There's still... What it are, makes was that the feel... fifth one? That was the fifth one, so here's the sixth okay. one. Uh, I'm going to say that other girl from University of Recall. I'm afraid it's not her again. <laughs> I skip it. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It is a difficult one. This one's possibly the hardest one that there is in this in this episode so okay so with five left that is Khalifa and uh, Kokote from Universe 11 Pride Troopers that's Kokote yes she has those earrings oh man those and if you look at really good and if you look at um like the where her trousers start she's got the red and the black in the kind of bottom of the Pride Trooper style uh thing I tried I tried to be generous but like it's difficult <laughs> Six members of Universe Dimsy remain. Wait, I have I've done well, right? Okay, I think one of them might be Kalifla. <laughs> Kalifla. <laughs> Zeno, what do you think about that overpronunciation? No. Who do you think he chose? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I He's just laughing. He doesn't know. I'll be honest. I don't even think Zeno's paying attention. He's sat there watching his pads, and so is the other one. But they don't really seem to be getting involved much, except for erasing the odd person. I'm assuming it's another female, yeah. She looks a bit prideful. Khalifa yeah. and cock. What? Cock. 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 <laughs> I what? misheard you completely. <laughs> Khalifa cock and cocks. something else sounds like something else in my web history. <laughs> Zeno, stop, stop. Don't search. Zeno, put the pad down! Zeno, man. So, so I'm going to have to put like a safeguarding ad block thing on that thing. It's going to get viral. 100%. So, man, but sorry, this... final answer. Who is it then? Khalifa and... Kokot. Kokot. Yes, it yes. is. Yes. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. All the ones which look a bit weird, they really resemble my ex. <laughs> and I, I'm really um, I'm really doubting my choices with girls at the moment. Okay, so, <laughs> so, th this one has to be this one has to be Topo and Ribrian. That would be correct. So here we go with number six. Oh man, they're gonna get harder, aren't they? <laughs> Probably the wrong one to say that on. <laughs> yeah, this one's not that hard. This is um. This is the toilet um, break match. <laughs> yeah, this is the yeah this is the uh, yeah this is. Uh, Ribrian and Topo, yep. right? Okay. That's right. We're still going strong with nine lives remaining. We've still got nine lives remaining. All right. Okay, so Topo, <laughs> Topo and uh, Rib Ribrian. Yes. <laughs> Since I don't, don't do YouTube, there's a lot of these names I've never said out loud before. <laughs> yeah, you don't really find yourself saying them, do you? You see them written down. Uh, that. <laughs> oh, that's easy. That's definitely uh, uh, Topo and um, what's her face? Ribrian. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some easy ones. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> mm. Storm and <laughs> You're playing uh, like Universe 7 at the moment. <laughs> yeah, this is domination. Play Ezekiel Jackson's entrance music. <laughs> this here, okay. what you call domination. <laughs> Love that music. I liked him more than Ezekiel Jackson. That's just me. But... <laughs> yeah, true. So it's the best part about him. <laughs> okay, so for me, first off, Topo has got to be one of those pieces to the puzzle. <laughs> I see that thing on top of the head of this character, and you know the shape seems almost similar to another character instead of perhaps Topo. You know the body shape in particular. <laughs> Unless you're stumping me really hard by giving one of her teammates who also got like the get up, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Topo and Ribrian. You know, I really did think about doing that. I really thought about making it Topo and Rosie for a while just to mess with people, but I thought it would be too much. I thought it would be too mean. So, again, you are right. 
both of those you've got. Still eight lives remaining. Uh, oh, that's uh, <laughs> Ripper Ann. Uh, what's the? I have I don't remember any of the Fright Trooper names. <laughs> he was featured for quite a few episodes. If that helps. Is it? Am I like looking? T- is it? Oh, is it Ripper Ann and Topo? Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, stuck up on that one. <laughs> She's so twice as fat as usual. <laughs> Okay, you, you know what is okay. I'll be blunt with you. It's either two, one of two people. It's either it's Topo, <laughs> it's Topo, right? And it's either going to be Ribrian or the Angel from the Beauty Universe. Purely, purely, <laughs> purely because I see um, glorious cleavage there. Glorious. Okay, Topo and the Angel of Universe Two. Let me ask you something, Dindy. The yeah. angel from Universe 2. Mm-hmm. Did she have a lightning bolt on her head? But. Does Topo have a lightning bolt on his head? Huh? <laughs> it's not the angel, but it is Topo. It's Topo okay. Or whatever. Topo and Ribrian. Five is that right? lives remain. Yes, it is. Oh, what? <laughs> You're correct. Yes, it is Ribrian and Topo. Chatting the thing, yeah? How? How? Because Ribrian has. Is she blue? No, she's not. Yes, how how does she blue? How? Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that. Oh, oh, fair enough. She does have blue skin. <laughs> hey, I'm, piss- I'm pissing away my lives, aren't I? <laughs> Five lives remain. I think I know who these guys are again, but I don't think I know the name. So the first guy I'm going to say is uh, Rabanara. Rabanara was a Universe 2's guy. Um, and then the second one I'm going to say is the, oh, what was his name? The friend of... <laughs> the friend of the one from earlier. <laughs> a friend of the Goma. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really remember anything from that arc. Oh, man. Well, uh, so, the, guy, the guy you're talking about, his name is Shisami. Shisami, that guy, and Rabinara from the Tournament of Power arc. Right, well, Shasami is correct. What the? Okay. <laughs> well, one of them is obviously um, the guy who I mentioned earlier, dude, uh, Shizami. Yep. Right? All right, mm-hmm. let me think for a minute, because the other one is trickier. This is tricky, dude. This is where, okay, that, where that similar design always comes into haunt everybody. <laughs> no, you... Okay, because here's the thing. This is why this is tricky. That I'm I'm gonna just tell you what I'm thinking. So that big orb in the middle of his head, that big blue thing you drew there. Yep. There's a couple characters that have that. Yeah. There One is. It, is that Universe Nine, uh, weird thing, Roselle or whatever that thing that that's weird. And then the other character that has the big orb in his head is that Robana. R- R- I I pronounce it all wrong. The 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 one from Universe Two, Two bro. Yeah. That that. And here's where you're with me for real. He's got the Majin Buu pose. <laughs> I've been mean with a couple of things to do with this picture. There's a lot of people have been guessing it quite quickly, and I've been quite surprised. And I was a little bit insulted, to be honest, because I spent time doing this. I don't think it's Majikayo. I don't think it's Kato. Pe- Kato Pe- you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the toughest one you've given me so far, dude. Like, for real. And the fact that you told me that the others guessed it faster is pissing me off right now. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 That guy's from Universe 2. Um, and I do think, I do think one of them is Chizami. So, wait, let me just see again. Yeah, I think one of them is Chizami, and that one is Rabrabra, Rabrana, Raban. I can tell you that Chizami is correct, but the other one is incorrect. Is that... He's from the ROF, he's the red guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Chizami, maybe? And Frost? <laughs> I'm going to say that it's a fusion of Frost and Shisami. Well done, yes. Uh, uh, well, I know that's Shisami. Oh, well done. In Frost. Yes, well done, man. Yes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so Frost and um, Sashimi. No, I mean, that's not as... The, the character whose name is a variant on Sashimi. <laughs> I, I can tell who you're on about, yeah. Sashimi? Yes. 
That was it. <laughs> okay. You've got it again, man. E nearly okay. everybody has fallen for the way I drew it because I drew it to kind of throw people off because I wanted them to think it was, um, I can't remember his name, but the red and blue guy from Universe 2. And... Uh, <laughs> But that one is... Oh, okay. Is, is that Frost? <laughs> that is. That is Frost. That is Frost. <laughs> okay, Frost. Right. I, sh I should have guessed from this uh, head thing and the chest thing. But his face looks so similar to that guy from Universe 2 whose name is Rabinara. Yes, he does. I kind of did it on purpose. I, tried, I, I, was, being, I was being a bit mean, really. <laughs> so oh, with four okay. lives okay. left, here we go to number eight. And there are 11 fusions in total. So we're near the end now. Oh, my God. God, I'm such a dacker. Four Dakana. minutes, 50 remain. All right, all right, all right. There's four is, lives left. <laughs> is, is, is that Froster? It is Froster. All think... right, I'm going to... I'm going to... Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Frost! It's <laughs> Frost! That's right, yeah. Shisami first... is Frost. <laughs> no, you're a d bro. That's first form Frost, and we haven't seen first form Frost in forever. You're a d yeah, it's one of these things, man, because I knew that people were either going to immediately jump to Shisami. Oh, Resurrection F. Oh, Freezer. And they were going to guess that or the Universe 2 guy. So, no, you're right. I was trying to be mean with that one. It's Frost. <laughs> so I got that right then. You got that right. Still going strong. Nine lives remaining. Here's number eight. <laughs> oh, what's Kale in the Invisible Warrior from Universe 4? Mate, what is this? <laughs> Hey, what is this? <laughs> I promise you, it probably has downloaded fully. Okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna try to be a quick, bit quicker now. K, okay, plus Ultra Instinct Goku. What? <laughs> no, three huh? lives remain. <laughs> no, you know what? Even all white and yeah, I'm not. I haven't taken a mid transformation. <laughs> There is a character that should have been stood out from this. No, 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 uh... <laughs> the tension. No. <laughs> no, man. I can't, I, I can't pick... <laughs> um, the Zeno is was... enjoying your discomfort. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, I can't... I can't remember, man. Dims is going to get Dims. He's going to get Dims. He's going to get squished. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um... He's the invisible one. He was in Universe 4, so Catella's universe. Yes, yes. Um, you are right. Like, You're on about the right person. Did he look like a reptile? He kind of does, yeah. Okay, so Kale and whoever the invisible character, because it was... I can't remember the character's name, but the other Universe 4 person who was originally <laughs> supposed to be a bug, but then it turned out to be a chameleon. Yes, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, it's Gami Saras and Kale. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, God. I don't know. I'm going to have to make these so much harder if you come on again next time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. What the f*** <laughs> is that, bro? <laughs> All right, well, obviously, Gamisaurus is where you got inspiration. <laughs> yeah. And I'm guessing Kale. That's yeah, my guess. You'd be correct, dude. You got that so quickly out of everybody. Nobody else got because that. There's, there's no other character that has this, <laughs> the shadow character, bro. I was like, when I drew it, I was thinking about that pic. Did you see the picture on Twitter going around where somebody had taken the picture of Gamisaurus and just drew a stencil around the outside to show what he would look like? <laughs> I did see that. And I was like, that's creepy. Remember, remember when they first revealed Gamisaurus in the magazine? We thought it was uh, going to be bug. another bug. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's Kale and that invisible girl? I think it's Kale. It is Kale. I can I can tell you that much. Check if they can go invisible. Right? It, it, is, it is the invisible person. Can you remember their name? I remember what team they're on. <laughs> oh, let me think. I'll give you a hint. Before it was revealed, people thought it was a bug. Is the Universe 4 people? It is the Universe 4 people, yeah. <laughs> so the invisible person from oh, no. Universe 4. <laughs> Again, you know who you're talking about. This this person was Gami Saras and Kale. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Um, man. You're doing, uh... you're doing really well, so maybe I should tweak the rules like Zeno does and say you need to give me the name. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna fail really hard this month. <laughs> if that's the case. Um, 
I think one of the fusion materials is kale. The other material, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm just going to say this one first in case it's right, the invisible chameleon guy that Piccolo eliminated. Can yeah. you give me the invisible person's name? Gex the chameleon? <laughs> what, you started with the right letter. Can I call another person? Uh, <laughs> Shall we get somebody else in the call? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phone a friend. Yeah, I want to use one of my lifelines. <laughs> Did you forget to draw this? <laughs> no, I got lazy. No, no, no. It's uh, it's drawn like that on purpose. <laughs> oh, 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 you're really smart to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is kale and gamisaras. Yes, absolutely correct. It's kale and gamisaras. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really smart. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here we go with number nine. <laughs> <laughs> watching you judgingly it's like remember my names please <laughs> i i i know who this is um uh, what was that arc called potafio Put potafio i think the water arc uh, i don't know his name uh for this one there are similar characters so i need the exact name okay so for oh, warning i'll try and do one. it and press enter here we go. This one looks really cool, by the way. It, it almost <laughs> trying to remember what it reminds me. It might remind me of something either from an like Sonic almost or <laughs> what, another no, video game I Knuckles played. out of rehab. <laughs> yeah, it, exactly. It looks like Knuckles when he's like in his eighties or something. He's been visiting the South with those suspenders. Sonic, I haven't been guiding the Master Emerald. Where's my pants? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Give me my okay. rocking chair. Yeah. <laughs> We're number nine. Oh. Here we go. And you still okay. got nine lives remaining. <laughs> All right. So Sidra and uh, which one of the trio de dangers is that? <laughs> is it Basil? Is that the one you want to go for? Uh, why not? Sidra is if correct. I, <laughs> but... if, there's only, if I have nine lives and there's only two others, <laughs> then I can just... Yeah, so it's uh, it's not basil or basil okay. or however they pronounce it. Bergamo. It's not Bergamo. <laughs> okay, hold on. If I can remember the third name of it would basil it would Bergamo. always be the last one, wouldn't it? <laughs> but do I have to say the name, or can it just be the third member of Trio I... to Dangerous? Yeah, you can get away with that because I've been saying to a lot of people because there's been so many people introduced in uh, the Tournament of Power. It's difficult for everybody to remember every single character's name. So I've been saying as long as you can articulate the character. And it's it's on the about, so. the one named by the the one voiced by uh, Takeshi Kusao, right? <laughs> See, there you go, man. There you go. Making up for it by not knowing the character's name but knowing the voice actor. Yeah, it's Lavender and ah. Sidra. <laughs> Uh, we're on you? number nine, and you have okay. nine lives remaining. Well, the beautiful thing about nine is that this is universe nine. All <laughs> universe nine. So my guess is um, Cedra, the god of destruction. Okay. And I think Lavender is the one with the suspenders. <laughs> oh, dude, you're pulling it apart, man. Yes, you're right. Yeah, you're right. There you go. So we've got the last two <laughs> oh, fusions man. remaining. <laughs> Uh, we got Defy Sidra and, oh my gosh, what's his name? What's his name? Bergamo's a big one. Uh... Yes, but I'm glad that you're, I'm glad that you're breaking it down and looking at it properly, like, as opposed to just going, oh, I know, wolf. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, Sidra's one of them. Um, so it's Bergamo and, shoot, what are the other two dudes' names? <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that fought Gohan, but I'm That's trying to remember right. his name. That's right. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, the, 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 the basil. No, but you have got the character right. So, oh, dang, which one was it? <laughs> Lavender. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. I was, I was gonna remember that one again. You got I, it. Right, I barely dude. remember basil. Uh, Sidra. You remember that one? And... <laughs> is it? I think it's Sidra. And... Oh, which wolf it is? Or that's the, that's the interesting thing. A lot of people have been picking the wrong Sidra wolf. And Lavender. That's correct, man. You picked the right wolf yeah. and the right god of destruction. I'm going to guess Basil and Sidra. Sidra is correct. 
and I can mm. take a life away for Basil. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, so seven mm. lives remain. <laughs> so I'm going to take another hit, maybe, but I'm going to guess Lavender. Yes, well done, well done. There you go. With seven lives left, you got them both. There we go. <laughs> I think I was thrown off by the red hair because... I think Lavender was yellow, was he not? Yes, yes. Lavender is yellow and Basil was red. But Sidra has red hair. So. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's, so that's a good stumping one. It, all, it, it took away one of them. I'm glad it didn't take away seven more. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two remaining for this and you've got seven lives. Oh, God. Okay, so <laughs> first one <laughs> first one I'm going to say is this is uh, Basil and... I'm confused whether should I say Sidra or the guy from Potafua? <laughs> I'll have to leave that decision up to you. <laughs> okay, uh, I have four lives, right? You have four lives, yes. I'm going to use my first one to say, first one to say that I'm going to say it's Sidra and, 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 and Basil. Sidra is correct, but Basil is not, I'm afraid. <laughs> What? That pose looks like just like Basil. I uh, know it, it's because it might be, <laughs> but it's not Basil if you get what I mean. Right. So I I'm gonna use another try to say that it is that guy from Putafuak, the old man. I really don't remember his name either. Unfortunately, it isn't. <laughs> it's it's Cedra's still correct, and now you're down to two lives. Then I'm gonna skip. Okay, no problem. So I can tell you that it was Cedra and it was Lavender. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you can see from oh, the suspenders. So yes, I, I can see his uh, clothes now. Yeah, yeah, I see that now. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, that is going to be uh, Basil plus the um, Universe 9 God of Destruction. <laughs> What was his name? What was his name? Bitch boy, bitch boy, bitch, 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 bitch. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Sidra, 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 Sidra. Yes, Sidra. and no. <laughs> huh? what? Sidra is correct. Basil is incorrect. Two lives remain with one minute How fifty. On... No, no, no. How is that incorrect, man? <laughs> I wouldn't question it. I would just guess something else. Love it, love it, love it. Love yes, love yes, love yes, yes it is. <laughs> I'm going to say that it's a fusion of hits and Gawasu. Well, that's Hit and Gawasu. Hit and Gawasu and Hit. It's Gawasu and Hit. It's Gawasu and Hit. Uh, is it Hit and Master Roshi? <laughs> so we can't afford to make a mistake here. <laughs> oh boy, this is getting exciting. <laughs> I know it's tense for the last one. <laughs> one minute to go and two lives remain. Can our champion withstand the next and final round? Oh no! No! <laughs> final one. I, so I gotta Final get this one, one and final life as well, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Let's do do get <laughs> now, first off, I can already guess one of the materials, which would be Majikayo, or I think it means ridiculous in Japanese. Oh, really? Correct. I didn't even know that. It means it's some sort of expression. It's either ridiculous or like something like, I can't believe it. If I recall, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments, but that's why I remember uh, there is like a joke in the episode where he was eliminated by Jiren, if I recall correctly, where yes. somebody was like, oh, Majikayo has been eliminated. And then somebody else was like, Oh, Jiren's power, I can't believe it. And then in that uh, sentence, right, like, yeah. Machikayo. So, <laughs> I, yeah. Well, that's interesting because I know his name takes part in the Ultimate Battle song. And um, I always thought it was a bit strange that he got so much shine in that song considering he was around for like an episode. So yeah. I suppose it would make sense that it stood for saying like, I can't believe it. He's got a crate. He's basically like a Majin from that universe. Um, One minute remains. Um, and two guesses. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, it's one of them is going to be Kabe, and the other one is the Metal Wildo wannabe. He has um, a symbiotic feature from, 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 from. I don't remember where he is from. Got where is he? Six seconds remaining. <laughs> oh, and two guesses. Okay, um, Kabe and um, Kat Katopelsla. What? The policeman. No! <laughs> Kabe and one guest remaining in 20 seconds. 
Um, Cut out mayonnaise. Cut out mayonnaise. Cut mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. No. Cut out mayonnaise. No. Um, oh my god. That's your. That's your. Mag- so, so, so. Maji. Majinaise. Majikais. Majikais. Five Maji- seconds. Okay, Kyabe Two, and Maj... One! Kyabe, Maj... <laughs> I want to take him on with me. I want to take him on with me. This is the one that didn't like you, didn't he? And... <laughs> ah, squish! Oh, 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 oh. I can uh, identify one of them easily, but the second one... Actually, no. Uh, is this Majikayo and Kaba? That is correct! That is correct! You've made it <laughs> through the fusion challenge without being eliminated by Zeno. <laughs> Yeah, he was pretty cool. Now the other one, he it seems like Maji Kayo has kind of some spiky hair and it looks <laughs> like he's wearing a kind of armor vest. So I'm going to say his other material is kappa. That would be correct. Well done. Wow! Yes. Amazing. So, I can't believe it. <laughs> you've done really well in this. It's definitely the uh, Ma- the Mayo guy from universe <laughs> whatever and Kabe that's right <laughs> as, as it's your last life as it's your last life perhaps maybe we should spice it up make it a bit interesting by making you try and guess his name <laughs> my oh my gosh I, it, it just I remember it too it's it's uh my oldest some smile something my my, my, my <laughs> <laughs> The tension of the timer is beaming down. It's, it's amazing how you watch this arc the entirety of like the last year, and then it gets to the main part where it's all about Kefla and Jerry, and, and you forget about you forget. everything. <laughs> Majo, Ma- Majo. So, ah, I forgot. What is it? It what is sounds it? a bit like Majin Buu, and it sounds a yeah, bit Ma- like what Majo's... they call the god. Yeah, Majo. <laughs> I got a fold. I don't remember it. Maji Kayo. <laughs> That's what it was, Maji Kayo. Ma, ma, cool. ma, 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 Maji Kayo. <laughs> that, yeah, he screams it at you in the song as well. <laughs> yeah. Now Ultimate Battle's playing in my head. Great. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you, all you had to do is watch another episode of Super or have a conversation with me, and either way, it's going to be in your head. Again, six lives remaining, man, so you're doing well. Uh, thanks. So, Maji Kayo. Is it Maji Kayo and Kava? That's correct. Well done, man. Well done. Whoa. You've come out of it. You've survived it all with six lives remaining. <laughs> so at the end of this little tournament, you had six fighters left. So your universe has done pretty respectfully, man. You've got to be proud for that. Awesome. Okay. Magikayo. Because that's Magikayo, bro. I mean, <laughs> and uh, I- I'm guessing... No, I'm not guessing. I know it's Kava. It's Maji yeah. Kava. It's Maji Kava. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I actually named it. Like when I draw these things up, I have to save it in like the side library. And when I do it, I always name them when I do it. And I call him Maji Kabe. <laughs> Maji Kabe. Yeah, that's perfect, bro. Nice. Well, there you go, man. 11 down and you lost one life. Oh, one man. That's... Life. The that's last awesome. one. The last okay, one. Okay, so... Maji Kayo and Kabe. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You have stormed the fusion challenge, man. Like I don't, I don't even know how anybody can hope to even come close to the speed you've done that in. Because one, that really complements how I feel about my drawing capabilities. But two, it also shows how amazingly you know these characters. That you can pull them apart from some pretty rough sketches as well. Come on, guys. Like you cannot question Herms' knowledge when it comes to Dragon Ball. Just. I'll give a round of applause by myself because there's no, nobody else here to help me with this. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. uh, well, thanks for taking part in that, man. It's been great having you on. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if this goes well and Zeno doesn't have to eliminate everybody, it'd be great if you could take part in another one in future. Oh, I'd be 100% down. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, no problem, man. It's been great. It's been great. Guys, if you haven't already, please go and subscribe to Broku72. He's been doing really well recently. You hit 40,000 subscribers, haven't you? Or yesterday or something. It was pretty soon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, man, you've done really well with that as well. And, like, the channel's going to continue to grow. So, please, everybody. Um, awesome. Well, I've had a lot of fun. You know, this this was a challenge, you know, as befitting of the name. But I guess that uh, Harold was on my side today and he was helping <laughs> me out with those brain gains. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, Harold, Harold could have been assisting you right there because he could have seen Jiren who's be like, it looks like Tagoma. 
but I can tell you <laughs> that posture is definitely Jiren. <laughs> I recognize yeah, those muscles anywhere. <laughs> yeah, trust me. He he loves those muscles of Jiren. He's gonna go insane in the next episode when Super comes out. <laughs> when the shirt comes off. Whoa. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oof. Did you like Frost out of curiosity for doing that? He liked Frost, and he thought he had some great potential gains, but the tricky manlet Frieza sent him flying into non-existence. <laughs> so, that's just he just goes it. to show I need to train your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, oh, man. But yeah, thank you again for joining it, man. It's been such a, such a good laugh having you on here as it was before. Guys, if you haven't already, go and check out the previous Fusion Challenge and see how well Mike did in that one. And obviously, don't forget to go and check out Mike's channel. Go subscribe to him. He's been bringing out some amazing content recently, and you can't afford Thank to miss you. any of it. So please, go ahead, go subscribe, go check it out, and be a loyal supporter to the Laughing Stock Media, Mike! Thank you, and as I always say, stick around. Because I'm coming for you, other contestants! Oh, man, yeah. Oh, God, that got tense towards the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. But no, oh, man, you did it, you did it. You managed to survive. Your universe is safe. <laughs> So do, I even, do, I even, do, do I even anime to this? Well, what it, <laughs> you, well, you can reward yourself any way you like. <laughs> but the, I'm going to uh, do that after, after the call. I'm going to do that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the way that it works is uh, there's a title on the line. There's a Fusion Challenge Championship out for grabs at the moment. I love it. I, I've never wanted anything in my life more than I've wanted this <laughs> title. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm getting that title. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any words you want to pass on to your fellow competitors in this? Anybody who's a body is a body I'm coming for. <laughs> <laughs> fair play man but i just want to say a massive thank you for coming on this has been a, it's been a, such a pleasure having you involved in this dude and everybody like i said please go and support, support ken zyra in every outlet that you possibly can do whether it be twitter or youtube please go he deserves all of your attention and he deserves all of your thanks as well because our community would be a much drier place without ken zyra it was really fun and thank you for inviting me anytime man it's been great <laughs> so everybody out of complete respect, please, if you haven't already, go over to Twitter and follow at Herms98 on Twitter because he deserves it for everything he does. He's been doing all of these dissections of the series going through and picking out really interesting tidbits from all of Akira Toriyama's work. Not just Dragon Ball, but he's a really amazing Twitter account to follow. And if you're into Doctor Who, then you should go and follow at Who Herms as well because he's been doing very similar work with the Doctor Who franchise. And I know a lot of you out there that are interested in Dragon Ball are also interested in a lot of other sci-fi like things like Doctor Who. So please guys, do him a favor, do yourself a favor, go subscribe, go follow, whatever the terminology should be on Twitter. But Herms, thank you so much for coming on the Fusion Challenge. It's been absolutely amazing having you on here because you've been just, I can't get over how well you've done. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, man, no worries. Well, uh, is there a prize? Feeling good about yourself. <laughs> no, there's yeah. no you can't can't put a price on self-esteem that's right no to, to be fair i think it's one of these things because it was to commemorate dragon ball super i probably will organize some form of prize after this i think um with the amount that everybody's been getting into it and everybody's been enjoying it it'd be a shame not to so yeah stay tuned to that man i have a message for dimsy dimsy you're great but i'm the best in the world now <laughs> as simple-minded as you are you might understand the story that I'm going to tell you. See, I'm a wonderful person, and so are you. But, so let me tell you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a promo over again. All right. So let me tell you. All right. All right. I'm going to kick the leg out of your leg. <laughs> I did that again. All right. I'm doing the Terry Fun. All right. So let me tell you something, Dimsy. Let me tell you something. I'm the best in the world. So I'm going to tell you a story right now. So when I was younger, right, I had a jackass. I had a jackass, and I love that jackass. And that jackass broke its leg. And when that jackass broke its leg, my father took that jackass out to the back and blew the jackass's brains out with a gun. So I said, Daddy, why did you do that to my jackass? And my daddy said, that jackass has no more place. It's useless. It's no more use to our operation. Now, I can't shoot you in the head. I was going Kanji. I can't, shoot, <laughs> no, I can't shoot you in the head, Dimsy, but I can certainly put you out to pasture. And I think that I did. I think so, that you did. <laughs> that's a Terry Funk freak. I, I botched that promo so bad, bro. I, 
It was the Ronda Rousey when she debuted. Oh, man, that was painful. I just want to say to everybody, look, it's been an absolute pleasure having Geekdom, not only for the first time, but for the second time, take part in the Fusion Challenge. And it's the new champion is what I'm seeing. <laughs> but listen, guys, there's a lot of people out there that do YouTube channels professionally, and they have like half the amount of subscribers that Danny has, and none of them are as in touch with the smaller channels as Geekdom is. Nobody will take time aside and do this quite as much as Geekdom will. He doesn't judge any content based on the size of the channel and the subscriber count. He just does it based on the fact that if he thinks that it's worth doing with. And you've got to respect that. So everybody, please, if you haven't already, if you've ever had any mixed opinions or anything, go and check Geekdom 101 out. His channel is amazing and you will never see a more down-to-earth, honest guy do any content. So please, go and check it out. And when you get there, say Kanji sent you because, like, you know, there'll only be one or two of you. <laughs> well, I appreciate the very nice words you said, bro. It means a lot to me. Trust me. And, and the thing is, it's true, bro. It's not about the size of your subscribers. And if you view it that way, you're a very shallow person. It's about what you can bring to the table. And, and, and this fusion challenge is something that nobody else has ever done before. So <laughs> no matter what, you can say it's yours forever. No, cheers, man. I appreciate it. And so everybody, please leave a comment down below. Let us know who you're rooting for in this challenge and who you hope the title is going to be around the waist of.